Hey guys, I'm going to make um, uh, vegetables for my birds. Um, they're all going to go to the freezer. So this is what we have. I have the different three different kinds of peppers. I have radish, um, that's carrots. And then I have cauliflower and broccoli. I have some kale and I also have spinach. Now I know before anyone asks me about my grains, I'm not going to have my grains inside with my vegetables. I prefer having them separate. Um, there's reasons for that but that's just what works for me. And then nowadays I'm more interested in doing sprouts so I'm not doing grains. I will do a separate video about like a grain video if that makes any sense. But yeah, so I'm going to put them in my blender and then for my blender I'm going to all um, put them in here and then yeah. So I'll show you guys how the process looks like for me. Okay, we blended our kale and it smells very phenomenal. You know, like freshly cut grass. That's what it smells like in here. And then I'm going to actually go forward with our um, spinach right now. So I did the kale and obviously I finished with the spinach. The next thing I'm going to go with is the broccoli and cauliflower so we'll first do the broccoli and then I'll do the cauliflower so the broccoli is in there there's obviously more there but um, I rather do it in multiple steps um, because my blender isn't that great and I don't want them to be stuck because then it's gonna be opening it closing it opening it closing it this way it actually gets the job done uh, quicker there So I finished with the broccoli, I still have to mix it in, but um, this is what it looks like. I know they're all kind of green and kind of confusing. A tip for anyone who's trying to have their birds um, eat veggies, I really suggest broccoli because they're very fine and birds could confuse them with seeds. So it's a great um, vegetable to use as a beginner. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to do the cauliflower. Okay, now we added our cauliflower and I'm going to mix it in and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now with the cauliflower and stuff all mixed in. Um, kale and all that. I, I had to put it in like a bigger bucket because it was getting very difficult to mix. The next thing we have is carrots. Okay, so this is what the ca um, carrot looks like. I was about to say kale, but yeah. And then we're gonna do the radish. The radish is in, and then I just have to press start. Okay, so the radish is in. I am gonna add fruit, which I didn't show you guys, but um, it's frozen blueberries inside. Um, I just prefer having some kind of fruit. Some people don't because of the sugar levels. I do think a little bit of fruit isn't going to do much harm. Again, it's a very small uh, portion of the whole veggie mash. So it shouldn't do any big harm. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys the blueberries. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now at the very moment. I do have blueberries as you can see over there. Um, there's only like three-fourths a cup or like half a cup not so much and um, they're high in sugar so if you are gonna add fruit just add a very little bit so I do have my oats my chia seeds and then my hemp hearts especially the oats and chia seeds they help like um, suck up all the moisture if that makes any sense I do prefer adding them in you don't have to it's just I prefer having them in I really suggest the chia seeds oh there we go Let's see. Okay, there we go. So if you can, at least try adding the chia seeds. So guys, this is what the end looks like. I'm just going to put them into um, individual packaging and then put them into the freezer. And yeah, for some people, this is the most fun part. But for me, this is my least favorite part because it takes forever. So guys, the mash is done. Um, I have 44 to be exact. Uh, that's about one month and a half one month and two weeks so yeah one month and a half um 
personally for me i've heard some people um use veggie or make a big bulk and they use it up to six months i personally would not suggest that i think the cutoff should be three months that's just my personal opinion comment down below if you guys want to see another video on grains and my homemade seed mixture there's a lot of reasons why i make my own seeds like home grade grains pretty much that's what i call it the reason is seeds in the market even very well known brands they're just not good that's just my personal opinion they're just not good but yeah so this is this is what we've got i'm gonna put all of them in the freezer although i have 44 this should last me about two months because in between i might give them like eggs or something different so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it have a nice day bye bye guys